All right, so here's a quick fix for you. Um, when we look at palm strikes, uh, you know, open hand strikes in general, but very specifically palm strikes, um, one of the, the problems that comes across is that people either treat it like a slap or they treat it like a push, and it's neither. Um, truth be told, uh, thrusting kicks end up having this problem too. People end up treating them like a push rather than an actual strike. And so I want you to think of palm strikes and thrusting kicks in, in a very similar vein. And the, the, the point is that you are trying to create an impact. You are trying to create a hit. Uh, slapping is valid, but slapping is actually a, a different kind of a technique in some respects than a palm strike. And the, the bigger thing here is that uh, while one, slapping techniques tend to be round techniques and not straight techniques, whereas palm techniques can be round or straight, uh, slaps tend to involve kind of the whole hand and it tends to be a stinging surface maneuver. Although if you've seen some of these slap competitions, they totally can be knockout strikes. Um, the thing with a palm strike and, you know, in, 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 in Kempo, you know, the, the, we emphasize the palm heel is just like if you have a punch where you are backing these knuckles up with the bones of the forearm all the way to the tip of the elbow, right? So a nice straight line from the tip of the elbow to the middle knuckle. If I open my hand up, that line now goes through the heel of my palm. And I wanna hit with the heel of my palm the same way that I kick with the heel of my foot. And so when I hit, I'm not just trying to do this. And again, slapping techniques are valid, but it's not what we're doing when we're training palm heel strikes. Same thing when I throw a kick, right? I'm not just bringing my foot out there and doing nothing, right? What I'm looking for is actually making contact with the heel of my palm, no matter what the orientation, front palm, angle palm, side palm, upside down palm, lifting palm, doesn't matter. The idea is to hit with that heel of the palm in the same way that I would hit with the heel of my foot and create an impact. And so when you hit, you, you really have to get out of this idea of like, oh, I put my open hand on it and I push. It's actually one of the biggest mistakes that I see with open hand striking is people end up doing this almost this kind of sumo push. And again, that can be a valid technique. These kind of push hits or shoves can be extremely valid and extremely useful in a conflict. But if you're training a palm heel strike, then you have to treat it like a strike. And that's one of the, the, the big dis, uh, distinguishing factors of any technique is understand what you are trying to achieve with the technique and then kind of go back and figure out how do I get from point A to point B, right? How do I use the tool for its intended effect? And so one of the things that we look at in Wing Chun is keeping the arm and the wrist relaxed. And that way we have this wrist flick, right? It's almost kind of the, the, the juts out of the shocking, frightening energy uh, of, uh, of juts out in the palm strikes. Um, it, Sigun Kwok went off on this whole tangent about uh, Jut Jing, even though it's funny because he was using combining a Cantonese and a, um, a Mandarin word, right? In, in Cantonese, it would be Ging. But, you know, he was saying, yeah, Fa Jing, we don't, you know, we're not Tai Chi, right? You know, you, you want to use that shocking energy, right? So Jut, I have this whole spiel on Jut, but, right, Jut Sao, typically speaking, a lot of people translate as jerking hand, but it, Jut doesn't translate as jerk, literally. It actually translates to like stop up. And uh, Sigun Kwok explained it more in the sense of like, you know, if uh, you drop a boulder from a moving car, they have to slam on the brakes. Well, it turns out that Jut is also a slang term. And in Wing Chun, we kind of use it along those lines. And in that slang term, it means to frighten or to be frightened. And so the idea is that that quick freeze, right? It's, it's that, that quick, sharp energy of like a shock, right? So not shock like an electric shock, but shock like a, 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 a startle, right? And so the idea then behind that is that you a lot of your movements should have this last second snap on them just like a quick out of nowhere startling uh, moment to put just a little bit of extra pepper on the strike and that's exactly how your palm strike should go so when you hit right you're not just going uh, right you're not slapping you are actually hitting 
so that it actually has a little bit of something behind it, right? Again, I don't care if it's an angle palm, side palm, front palm, but it still has to have that energy like a strike. The same way that if you were to throw a side kick, you don't push with it, you actually impact with it and let everything else fall from there. That's what we're looking at, right? So make sure that you make your your your, your palm heel strikes, your palm strikes in general, uh, the same as you make your thrusting kicks as hits and not pushes, unless you're doing the push on purpose, right? But for our baseline, for how we train it from the ground up, let's make it a hit, let's make it a concussive strike that's actually designed to do some damage. And then we make everything else variations around that. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Good journey. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends or anybody else who might be interested in this kind of content. If you happen to be in the Metro Phoenix area, come in for a class or just stop in to say hi, we'd love to meet you. Definitely check out our socials and our website that has all of our contact information and all of the other relevant information. And more than anything, check out our Substack. Our Substack will be containing all of the links that we, uh, that we use to uh, cite and reference uh, in our videos as well as uh, exclusive training content that will be available for premium members. Memberships are cheap, but you can also sign up for free and we will have, we do have articles for free and we will have more uh, free articles available for you. It is a fantastic platform for what we are doing here and uh, we hope to see you over there. So uh, I will talk to you guys later and uh, look out for the next one. Good journey.